Turning to political developments, now spokesperson of Nigeria Opposition Lawmakers Coalition has expressed support for al Haji Yai's appointment as the acting chairman of the People's Democratic Party and endorsed the removal of the former acting chairman, Ambassador Umar Ilya Damagun. Following the suspension of Ambassador Ilya Demogun as the acting national chairman of the People's Democratic Party and others, the National Working Committee approved the appointment of Alhaji Yayari Mohammed, the current national treasurer of the PDP, as acting national chairman. In a statement signed by the party's national publicity secretary, Honorable Debo Ologunagba, it was disclosed that following the vacancy created by the suspension of acting national chairman Omar Damagun and a few others, Yayari, as the highest ranking officer in the NWC from the north, has naturally taken on the role until the in upcoming NEC meeting. In response to this development, Honorable Ugo Chinyere stated that PDP loyalists, supporters and stakeholders are pleased with the development. The emergence of uh, Yayari Ahmed Mohammed is in strict compliance with the provision of the party constitution and the National Working Committee invoking the necessary provision under Article 57 sub 7 and 58 sub 1 which gives the party the powers to look into disciplinary actions against members of the National Executive uh, Committee, that they acted invoking those powers given them under Article 29, where they acted, the NWC acted on behalf of the NEC to invoke the provisions of Article 57 and Article 58 by suspending uh, the former disgraced national chairman Omar Damago from office, the judgment he are supposed to receive is one that comes from court. And, and, and the heartbeat of justice is not just the judgment the judge is delivering, but the perception by the ordinary man that justice must be seen to have been done in that judgment. That is the, the, the capital. When you debase that, when you destroy that, and then tell people come in any injunction you grant, from the same federal high court that gave a rule on political expert. Now, expert applications are flying like the Mesa Israel is firing into Iran. From the federal high court. Bam, bam, left, right, and center. When you think they should stop, they continue. And the new CJN have not picked up his phone to call the CJ and say, What is going on with this expert? Is it that you, cook, you people cook it overnight or what? On every political issue. They come and then you issue it uh, uh, to them. It's on that light that we are shocked when after the NWC have met, consider the heinous case of antipathy activities against Omar Damago and his gang and suspended them in line with Article 58 and 57 and the powers they have under Article 29 so that their governors can be removed. So we thank the National Working Committee, we thank the, 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 the Public Secretary who have been steadfast. What is the offense of our Public Secretary? He issued a statement that the election in reverse for local government election must be allowed to go on. <laughs> one big one, one big man somewhere saw it as an affront because he is in APC, he is in PDP, he owns the two parties. And they say, oh, the Public Secretary must be sidelined. What is the offense of the legal advisor? He wrote a letter that a case that if it is successful, we see our own governor removed by people who are no longer lawmakers. He fight to discontinue that uh, suit in the exercise of his constitutional power under the apartheid constitution. The big man feels, oh, the legal advisor should be removed. That is why they attempted, the belated attempt to remove them, which failed. So the NWC is now owned, but thank God that these great NWC members have proved to the whole world that this NWC is not owned by anybody. With their courageous decision to invoke the provision of Article 57 and 58 of the party constitution and suspending Omar Damago and the National Secretary and others from office.